Alright, so I've been reading up about uh, the initial rage. Um, Y'all probably didn't get to see it, but the whole cause of this post-apocalyptic wasteland is a giant meteorite. It apparently was detected in 2004 in this game's timeline. And they were like, yeah, ah, uh, not such a big deal. Although we are going to name it Apophis, which is named after the Egyptian god of chaos. Well, you know, everything should be just fine. Cheers. Uh, and then in 2024, it was uh, raided by a class of scientists at a 7. The highest ever on a scale of its likelihood to uh, impact Earth. But to the public, it was like, yeah, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a 4. It's like a 4. But then uh, they all said it would increase by 10 to 12 points uh, as it got closer. And then what do you know? It smashes into Earth and uh, kills everything. Except for the people like me, who went underground. And I guess uh, some few scrappy survivors. Uh, sorry, one second. I'm trying to pull up uh, my chat. So if anyone wants to talk, they can do that. Um, kind of forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, Carlson! Uh, Check out the well. Off managers. Well, that would be this guy. Where's Carlson? The authority says it's cracking what is down happening? on bandits, but they just can't. It's too many of them, and the authorities spread too thin out here. Oh. There's an alarm. Is this the main courtyard? Jake. Hey, you're that guy on Bash TV. Man, you were I was the one on Bash TV. I killed lots of mutants. Heard rumors that old man Joe got some plants growing around the swamp. Special plants at that. Heard if you mix them up right, they can do a lot of good for you. This guy been smoking the reefer. For real though. Okay. Probably in the well master. Which is definitely just the bathroom. Well, there we go. Damn time they sent someone to help me. Hell, this I mean, I just couldn't find you, dude. Critical. You hear that? Critical. Got to be dealt with fast. So, oh, my name is Carlson, and I manage the well. I was down there inspecting. Finally found you, Carlson. Get to it. Itching to shoot stuff. I barely made it out alive. Now they're threatening to poison our water supply. Know what that'll do? I mean, it looks pretty fun to me. The town. Just saying. Let that happen. Hell no. We need these mm -hmm. bandits dealt with. It looks like you're our only hope. Hell no. He just said the same thing. Good. Right down. Stop whoever is doing this and get that toxin. Yes. Down into the sewer. As everyone knows sewer levels are the best in any game. Just an ammo. They jumped us. <coughs> What's going on here? You gotta help us. There are some bandits around the corner. Use those electro Once bolts. again, the Do whole thing with can. this game is people can't walk. But he did give me some ammo. And I'm gonna loot this dead corpse. I, mean, I don't know what his name is. Didn't even have guns. You find anything yet? There is shit. Here, get closer. Move. Fuck this sucks. The 
Bet you that sucks worse. Please don't get up. I just got a speed loader for my shotgun. Hold more rounds. Wow! Well. What's over there? More stuff. It's so many wings. Fire shock all over again. At least whenever I use them up, they come back as regular bolts. That's pretty cool. Who knows? Definitely guys up there. Oh, well, I'll just make one. Pop out. Pretty bloody, buddy. There's some music now. Previous ones didn't have a whole lot of music. Now, go. Come here, you son of a bitch. Who you calls me that you jumped on the back of me and stabbed me? Detron, you stabbed my dad. You had sex with my girlfriend. I didn't have sex with your girlfriend. Correction. I had sex with your girlfriend. Lysol, sorry. My bad. Hey, hey. Over there. Snitches end up in ditches. That's a lot of that's a lot of dead people. It's all dead guys. It's kind of a sexist thing here, man. Not good enough to die. Hit. It's messed up. I get out of here. come from here? Definitely came from here. Ugh. 
Sewer levels. Let's get lost. Okay. It's probably really obvious that I'm not seeing. Gave it your best shot, guys. All the effort. Still very much dead. That's cool. It's over there. Wait. Fast. Wily. Wow. wasn't playing on like the easiest difficulties might be mildly scary. The game has a decent amount of little jump scares and stuff that happen to you. Maybe like these guys coming after you. Wait, what's in here? Something I can crawl up in. I don't know why it showed me this unless I can blow it up. You bitch. Oh, okay. I think he's close. Try that asshole. Oh shit. Chewed. I'm gonna loot that body. Now there's no body to loot. X. Take him out at the knees. some of the same like doom or big noises. That'd be cool. I feel like the only thing that id really hasn't done with a first version shooter now, or at least if I can think of in a really long time, would be a like Wild West type of shooter. You got your post-apocalyptic 
something like Hexen was like the uh, kind of fantasy like magic missile y type of thing. You got your Quake, your Doom, Wolfenstein. We kind of got it down. Hear me, Id? I want a Yeehaw first person shooter. Oh, blow him up! <laughs> oh, was... You killed your own buddy. What do you think was gonna happen? Oh my gosh! Drop it right next to you. Put yourself up. Maybe not. Just didn't get rid of it. If you're watching. Please uh, give me a subscribe or let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. There are lots of different games when people ask. Um, I like the older stuff. Especially if it's just become backwards compatible. Do some new life into it. In the last stream, I kind of talked about how I don't really know what to do while I'm streaming. I don't know what I'm supposed to talk about. And if nobody posts any comments, I'm just going to tell you what I did with my day, you know. It's some pretty good ice cream. Talk to these guys, they don't hang around long enough. Loot their corpses. Don't you touch that thing! Always runs in. No! No! You fucking dick. No. This doesn't look good. Go, sentry bot, go. Murder him. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say it, Sentry Bot, it better not be good. Yeah. Murder Bot, go. My best friend. You're good with rage? I mean, you're like, you're, you're down with, with the rage, you're picking up the second one. Hopefully, next month. Gonna be sweet. I'm not sure if Andrew WK has more of a uh, role in the game other than being the voice of the Collector's Edition head, but I hope so. They've shown some of his uh, music with the game. I mean, it kind of seems to fit with the whole just like crazy over the top, shoot everything, playing like some pretty hard. Oh, I didn't even realize this guy was killing people. Good work, robot. I'll just clean up after you. Yeah, bleeding nose. You excited? You excited for the second one? This way. Hopefully, I'm Let's doing uh, the first one justice. Uh, I've see. I was probably supposed to talk to this guy, but my robot was doing all the all the real damage. So I kind of you. missed out. Working on it now. You're working on. I should, should do what? Get to the toxic canister. Get to the chopper. Language. No need for that. Oh, I'm gonna say my little robot fighting these guys. I can't see him. Nope. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Hello, if you just started watching, playing Rage 1. This is not Rage 2, sadly, um, but I'm really excited for the new one, so. I'm gonna play through, oh, the first one. I get reacquainted with it. 
even though really the story is meteor hits the earth, most people die. People who didn't die, kind of these crazy assholes. And you, who were saved by going into what's called an arc. It's like a giant cryo tomb thingy thing. Um, they kept you alive. Oh, yeah. Great job. I'll stay down here. Get that toxin out of here. Well, where am I supposed to go with it? Raise a fauna. Let's go. Alright. I'll make my own jump noises from old Doom games. Don't mind. Peter WK? You all should look him up if you don't know who he is. He is, uh. Pretty interesting guy. I feel like I'm supposed to be standing on this, so I might have to just like bring it on back down. Or not? Oh man, it's been a while. Okay. I feel like I should be able to run around here. I just couldn't see anything. Or not? No, maybe, yes. That's definitely just a wall. Gosh dang it. Yeah, Andrew WK is just like a crazy, crazy white guy. Sings kind of like party rock music. I like LMFAO party rock music. There's a big, dif big difference, but no. If you've ever heard the song Party Hard, I feel like most, if not all, of his songs have the word party in it. Do I want it up or do I want it down? I'm just gonna Can I go up. Oh, I'm gonna miss one of those little collectible cards. Ah ha ha! Pinkies once again. Another throwback to the other di di game. It's from uh, Doom. Pinkies are those little demons that come after you. Left my little robot behind, but he worked pretty well. Thank you for the follow, by the way, Bleeding News. I appreciate it. Like I said, if y'all enjoy the stream or want to see something, um, just leave a comment. Damn authority. Are the authority here yet? I would have never known that. Incredible you made it back alive. You just saved an entire town from certain death. I'm sure those bandits will So I would love to play Bioshock again, even though I've played it probably I don't know ten different times. It, but I know it isn't safe. Old man Cavassier should see it. Maybe he could Dark Messiah was pretty deep too though. I just know I don't want it around here. Too dangerous. I actually have a full um, leg Bioshock tattoo. Uh, my right leg goes all the way around. It's got a daddy and maybe he'll know what to do with it. If um, ever try to use it. One of the little bots and everything. Not to ask, I know. But can you make the trek up north? Get him to examine the toxin. Oh, who are taking it? Oh, Doctor Cavassier well, again. Be careful out Ask the Doctor Cavassier. We're about singing now. Make sure I don't have any quests to do here. James, Medic, Wells, Harris Helmet. Get some money from Sally at the bar. Use your money every time you blow up bandits. You're pretty handy with those guns. I hope to resistance. see you again soon. Hope he kept his mouth shut. You bet he did. I 
Since I only killed four. Whatever. Money's money. The race certificates are what you use to upgrade your car. Which you really don't need to do very often until you get to the, the later points of the game. Who is shooting me? Like, like a girl. Not that guy. Someone's messaging me about sorta of, kinda of work stuff. Recommendations for Switch games. Someone going on a trip. I said Mario and Rabbids because it's XCOM with Mario, and that's pretty awesome. The noise his bridge makes. Worthless things. Alright. So Guacamelee is pretty cool. I'm a big fan of the uh, uh, Mark of the Ninja. Hello again, my friend. I feel like that's actually done by the same yes, studio. My friend. Time to analyze exactly what it is you have here. Let me look at there you this. go. Ah, interesting. This guy's awesome. He's like, oh yeah, this uh, looks like you would mind control people. Bet you I can make it into a weapon indeed. for you. Hmm, what's this? Wait. That's his first priority. Hold on. Not Let like make an antidote or anything. Something. You know, that would be helpful to more people than just the guy with all the guns. Ooh, which arm's gonna get it this time? I think it's always the right one. And then the left one gets really sad. Aww. Womp womp. Oh, now look at this. That's something. Ah, yes, you see, you have indeed brought me something of great interest and great power. I don't, I don't really I care what it is, old man. Like to you know what I can do with kind it. Of weapon for the resistance. A weapon that would make even the authority grow cautious. And I'll just give it to you. I have had I've some twice. small success. Injecting simple chains of nanotrites directly into a subject, allowing them to be controlled. But it only works for a brief time. And I am afraid the controlled victim eventually reaches nanotrite overload and simply explodes. Simply explodes, you know. Side effects may be, uh, explosions, death, violence. But now, this toxin you have so thoughtfully brought for my inspection, 
is exactly what I need to complete <laughs> the formula. Yeah, I never thought about the little robots looking you like the, uh, give me a moment here. tendrils from the darkness. Also a super good game. I'm um, not sure if both of them are backwards compatible, but I uh, liked yes. like both those that in the series. Yes. The second one kind of took a different turn. It was almost more of like an arcade shooter. Perfect. But the first really one was really good. Perfect. And you can watch the entirety of To Kill a Mockingbird. Let me get it all packaged for you. You can take it back. In black and white. Uh, while your girlfriend falls asleep on the couch. For the resistance, my friend. Very realistic. So here it is. A sample bunch of mind control darts. Enough for the resistance to begin using and testing. And they should be able to easily replicate the formula to produce more. And now... Make it seem like the resistance has a fucking lab like Find you do, Dr. Gavassier. Elizabeth Cadence. She will be in the Wellspring Bar. Get to her quickly with these darts. Good. Sure, 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 sure. Is there a time thing? Don't let the darts fall. Yes, well, I don't plan on dying. Thank you very much. I work for a video game retailer, so. I play a lot of games. I like to talk about games. If you think working at said retailer, I could talk about games a lot, unfortunately. People don't care about that stuff. Just want to come in for uh, whatever game just came out, ask how it is, and then just spend all the money on it. And then get mad because it wasn't what they thought it was going to be, even though they did no research on it at all. Come on, gas. Wait, 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 wait. I wouldn't say no one knows this stuff, um, but it's certainly <laughs> few and far between these days. What I'd really like to play on stream would be like the Metroid Prime series. Um, I was super excited they were working on a new one for the Switch, and then uh, just a couple months back they pretty much announced that they were overhauling the entire game. It would be a little while before it comes out. But, I guess, better late than never. I'll just have to wait like everything else with Nintendo. Super patient. Because uh, that series was awesome. Um, as far as first-person shooters go, or just Metroidvania games in general, the fact that they kind of merged them both together and did a good job of it was pretty awesome. Oh, $15. Can't, can't risk it. Heard people say there's been some authority. No, Mick, I'm not talking to you. Uh, one of the big things that they talk about in this game is uh, because you're one of the last people to come out of these arcs, the authority, who's the big bad guy in this game, is always looking for for any arc dwellers. Um, they kind of want to experiment on them or use them for their own will. Keep up the good work. Give me some more money, the Sally. Destroy, the more you learn. I wouldn't say, uh, if anything, I'm, a, I'm a, a pretty hardcore Xbox guy, but I've had uh, most of the consoles throughout the years. I started with Nintendo, um, with the Game Boy, and then N64, but the first system I owned with my own money, so it kind of sticks with me as one of my favorites is the Dreamcast. absolutely love the Dreamcast. Sonic Adventure. I remember seeing that in... Wow, probably the time was a Circuit City, since no one knows what those are anymore. And uh, I had a display of Sonic Adventure with Sonic running away from the Orca, and I just remember being blown away by that. I was like, I gotta save up my money, gotta get one. Zelda's a super good title. Pretty much any of them. It's not even you have to get a Switch to play Breath of the Wild. You can get a a DS to play some of the earlier ones, um, Spirit Tracks, and um, Phantom Hourglass, are both really good. And is being held in the old prison. I don't, know how I don't think they've really made a bad and Zelda title unless you count the, the Hyrule Warriors kind of ones, of which is essentially just Dynasty Warriors. You can't let them transfer him so to unless you like hitting the A button like 40,000 times in a row, probably so should stay away from that. That's what I need from you, stranger. Rescue Marshall before he disappears forever. Can you help us? 
Yeah, sure. Everybody is super trusting of you, though, in this game. They're just like, oh, yeah, new guy in town? I'm sure he will save all of us. Give him some weapons. The enforcers may look like robots, but inside all that combat armor, there's still flesh and blood. Good luck. Good luck. So, do I go somewhere? Without Marshall to lead us, the resistance will be all right, lost. Fine, fine, fine. I think I gotta drive over to that other town for a hot second. I thought I could pull these out and use them on crossbow. Not today. See if I can upgrade my car real quick. No more jobs. I should have some money this point. Keep up the good work. Look There's races you can do. There's like uh, job boards. Here to browse Pick up my side selection. quests. Yeah, there's other titles on the Nintendo um, that are exclusives. Everyone kind of goes towards Zelda right off the bat, but I'm a huge fan of the Animal Crossing series. That always sounds super lame. People are like, how do you play that game? What is it even like? The best way I describe it is it's um, World of Warcraft for little kids. Like, there's no end to it. You just keep playing all the time. And, uh... It's essentially a grind that doesn't feel like a grind. That's the best kind. Every other game I play recently, whether it be Anthem or Division, that in-game grind is just too real for me. I'm, I'm not about that. Going to the prison. Thing this game is not that far. The whole scope of this map is maybe, oh, I'd say maybe five miles, if that. But it's pretty small. New game has a much more expanded overworld. It's a huge map, almost like the, the Far Cry series. And then uh, the car combat has been changed. You can kind of do on like a shunt. Where you can dash to the left or right, um, to hit different enemies, knock them off the road. A bunch of different vehicles too. Um, the whole the kind of a tagline that if you can see it in the game you can drive it which is pretty awesome. It sucks when you see something that's like super super cool looking but you can't drive it or do anything with it. Okay guys you can just keep shooting me it's fine. Where's the last one? Sweet. I wouldn't say it's too late to play World of Warcraft. I think it's kind of the lasting appeal of that game is you can kind of pick it up at any any point, and get back into it. Um, I have people that play it for hours and hours whenever a new expansion comes out, and then as soon as uh, they complete those like main quests for that, they up and they just redo it every time. Let's see. I can make them. Where's my ammo? Let's uh, 
replace that guy. Those I'll still use. I played World of Warcraft for probably all of 10 minutes, and I really enjoyed it. And so. I decided I probably should not keep playing since I already pay for Xbox Live and Netflix and a billion other pay services. I think this guy's dead. No. Now he looks dead. Um, so I just wasn't going to throw another 15 or 30 bucks a month towards um, World of Warcraft. But I mean, you got a, it's a testament to how long the game's been around. The fact that it's still relevant, I mean, if you want to take down an MMO, you have to take down World of Warcraft. It's the only kind of original that's still around. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, down the ladder I'm not looking at. Quit. 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 Now, back on the 360, that little water effect thing was amazing. Not so much now. Once again, there really needs to be like a cool metal soundtrack to be playing with this. I hope the second one has a lot of that going on. I mean, it's cool, like the ambiance of just like the empty wasteland and some bad guys trying to kill you, but I like a little music. It's my killing and destruction. I don't care if you play some classical music, I just want to hear something. I can't recall. I got a chance to, to play the Second Rage at a, a conference last year. One of the only um, games I like waited to to play. Yeah, I'll make these. Um, and it was super fun. It was much more over the top. Something like in Doom in what sense? Like the music? That metal music, the dun 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 dun, dun, dun the had Megadeth do a whole Doom song if I don't if I recall correctly. I kinda wanna play it, but it'd probably get my stream banned. Uh, where are those grenades? I'm already using cool. Excellent. Well if I'm already using those grenades. Do I have any little robots? I need to make some robots. Yeah. Make my robots growl. Where are they at? Two grenades. Alright, now I'm now I'm just gonna bobby it. All the junk in this room. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it, I'm sorry. Our is 4, 9, and 12, operational. I it's like a super old prison at the same time, it's got like, you know, like lasers and stuff. Uh, I think I can just, no, maybe I can't just shoot those things. I might have to throw those grenades at it. Okay, yeah. Not so high tech now, huh? Uh, do you remember who was in the Splatterhouse track list, or was it just um, in-game music? Robot, you, you attack him. Didn't even flinch. Yeah, robot. Get in the business. Attention, all units. Threat level red initiated. Repeat. Threat level red initiated. 
Yeah, music can be uh, one of the most memorable parts of a game. Going back to Zelda, Zelda has awesome music. We'll get the uh, Song of Storms and different things from Ocarina of Time tattooed on them, so. Pretty cool. No, I'm not saying we'll get some random Zelda music on you, but. Dude. Yes. Damn, we've got some sweet tracks. You can just see like a whole album of like Shadows Fall, Lamb of God, Mona Marth, stuff like that. Uh, you do know that, um. Is it Pantera or. Oh, who is it? Got. Uh, Eddie. Oh gosh, they have their own game. My mind is going blank now, trying to figure out who it is. Okay, so if that's there. Let's see if they know who Where do I have to blow something up at? Sam. Just do it in one shot! Chucking those things everywhere. Give me your beer. Brutal Legend. Super awesome game. I mean, anything that... Um, yeah, walk into it, guy. Hit your butt, go! I feel like I'm gonna knock the shit off this guy's shield. Oh, uh, he's trying to reach me. Oh, I was getting sidetracked, I'm sorry. Um, Brutal Legend, done by. Double Fine. Um, Tim Schaefer. Same guy who did Psychonauts. We'll be doing the second one. It's been a lot of really good games that get amazing reviews and then don't sell any copies. It sucks. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, this game's amazing. Did you play it? And they're like, no, did you? I'm like, no. But I mean, it's a good game. We're just gonna like, listen to the reviewers, but then don't take their advice and purchase it. But all of his games have been awesome. He has one about Russian nesting dolls. He has one about um, like a horde mode, steampunk mechs fighting in World War One. Super awesome. Played that game a long time. It's called Trenched. Uh, I think Trench is actually another backwards compatible title on the Xbox One. I just haven't fired it up again because it kind of had a progression system to it that I spent a lot of time on. It got really far. And I know I don't have a save file uploaded to it, so. No, my little robot, you should be hiding. Oh, little robot. What am I going to die? of you. Ah! Sorry. Once again. Found some of something else to get sidetracked. Ah, I guess this is the third version of the doom noise. You get shot by things. No, no, no. Do you need power? Advance on enemy position. 
sir, guy. So, PSDR, pretty cool little system. Uh, it's fun with the right titles. First, tell people you gotta make sure you know what you wanna buy for it before you drop that about $350 on it. Oh, look out. Um, I got a VR for this game called Blood and Truth that hasn't even come out yet. Um, about to release in a couple months. It's essentially just a VR version of Time Crisis. I'm all about it. Uh, there's a game called Super Hot that's really fun on the comp on the VR. Um, Super Hot, even Astrobot. Astrobot VR is essentially Mario in VR, and it's one of the ones that has like the least amount of motion sickness inducing gameplay, I would say. A lot of people don't take to the VR that well, it makes them physically ill, so start off with something like that and then kind of move up. And if you have the, the means to do it, I would say get a like an Oculus or a Vive, a lot more. Options. A PC version of this. But if you got a PlayStation, VR is pretty dope. There's a lot of games that have come out on other platforms that I hope they make for the PSVR. Things like uh, Blade and Sorcery. Pretty awesome. You guys can still hear me talking, I assume. I had an issue when I first started streaming where nobody could hear anything I was saying. The game audio is just really high. I, I don't talk super loud. I'm just using a regular gaming headset, so... I'm not using a boom mic or anything for my, for my apartment. But hopefully I'm coming through okay. I'm not just talking to myself. But I'd do that anyway, so... Ooh, Rusty Ladle. Best weapon in the game. In, in previous streams, I talked about how this game doesn't have you picking up a bunch of items and worrying about, like, oh, maybe I should save this Rusty Ladle. Maybe it upgrades things later. It straight categorizes things into, this is junk, you need to sell it as soon as you get back into town. Oh, that sounds terrible. They have mutants. Security breach. No, I'm sure it's under control. Yeah, totally. Come on. Tell me I'm like out of rounds. Some armor piercing rounds that I probably should have been using this whole time, but whatever. One thing in one of these cells that I should hey, pick up. Here. Captain Marshall also might be voiced by Steve. Blum, not sure. I think they spent all their money for voice actors on John Goodman and Steve Blum, and they were like, crap. We have a lot of people that need voices. We should just make Steve Blum do all of them. If Steve Blum's watching and you go by Bloom, I'm sorry. I haven't met you. I'd like to. Don't hate me. Seems like a cool guy. Did a really good roll with Spike. Also, I know you're in every single Batman game, but you're always just like a random bad guy. And you're my favorite. Like, I'll find you in Batman. You're 100% right about the ending to this game. It, 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 spoilers, it has a sorry, terrible ending. 
Um, they definitely were like, ooh, well, you fought a boss, so, I mean, the game's over now. And they show a little cutscene. Over here. I'm assuming the second one will flesh that out better. I'm checking these rooms, dude. Chill out and hang out here for a long time. Take it, Elizabeth sent yeah. you. I'm sure yep, 100%. You. The door controls are on Gosh, it's always the same guy. Get me out of here. I have a plan to get us out of here. Damn it. I'm about to pull up this IMDb and just see how many people has played. Well, wing sticks do like nothing. How did I throw it that far? Yo, he went right through the laser field. Not fair. They did do DLC, so that's the other weird thing about this game. They did DLC on this game like two years after it came out. Don't shoot my little robot! <laughs> um, it was like the Scorchers DLC, which was really fun. They added a, like a railgun. That you could shoot rebar with. You could pin people to walls. You could shoot people through walls. Um, it was awesome. But it just came out about a year and a half too late considering nobody was playing this game initially. I thought there was a weapon in there, but I guess not. Let me make some more rubits real quick. Can I make some? Yeah. Oh shit, I forgot. How many do I have of these? I got ten. Actually, these probably do a decent amount of damage to these guys. Yeah. This way. Well, yeah, they definitely didn't do anything for the ending. Ah. Nobody played it. Alright, let's move up. So. Grab what you need. Is it, I'm not sure if you know or anybody who's watching the stream could know. Leave me a comment. Is there a way on the Xbox One the while you're streaming through Force Twitch you can the see the chat on your screen? Even if it's just, uh,. Kind of condensed version of it. So I'm just using my phone. I'm kind of looking back and forth to read what y'all are posting. Me and uh, bleeding nose are having a decent conversation about vintage games. And that's what I like to talk about. I'm not saying it's all you can ask questions about. But Can't hide behind those boxes forever. Oh shoot. I feel like this guy's like straight sitting and getting wrecked. There's under box. Go. Go a bit, go. people there. <laughs> the funniest thing is you say there's nothing else we're talking about. It's always the people who are on forums, whether they be for video games or achievements and stuff. They're like making fun of people talking about achievements. Like, what are you doing on the site? 
do the exact thing. Someone would come in and be like, what are you guys are nerds? Talking about video games while you're playing video games? Well, yeah. It's like nerd inception, man. Leave me alone. Look on myself. I look at myself. Well, I talk about myself. Read myself, man. I'm a hundred percent achievement whore, but not in the sense where I will just play something bad to get achievements. Um, like I haven't played Avatar, or one of the ones you can get really, really achievements in, uh, really easy achievements, I should say. Um, but I try to complete the games that I do start. So there are certain games that I won't play on my main account that I really want to try out. I have a secondary account. Um, like Sekiro, I'm playing on my secondary account. I stream that every now and then. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones. Division 2, I'm playing on a secondary account. I just don't have the time to, to go through and get all the achievements. And I would like to, so I'm kind of OCD about it. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh, this guy's waiting up there. I need to shoot something or move something up. Okay. You're here. There's... Is there explosive? Shoot. I mean, yeah, I'll use pretty much whatever means it takes to, to get me an achievement, that's for darn sure. Secure has some boss battles that I'm not sure I would want to give the time or energy to do the real way. Okay, robot, you're you're kinda you're kinda annoying me, I'm sorry. Just keep back up, thank you. Making too much noise. I feel like the door should be open around here. Or it would be one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, you're supposed to step on right next to that door, and then someone will come out of that door and you go back the other way. It's been a long time since I played this title. Like, oh yeah, I totally should have just done that thing. Good for real, though. There's the gun. A little hole. Aha! Uh -huh. Should have just gone on to game facts. That up lickety split. Got a feeling someone's gonna come down to this courtyard. Murder them. Good shooting. Now watch my that big old gun. Yup. Alright, right. Look at this little I didn't see that. Hey guys, you gotta poop out. Explode. 
Is it? Is that, is that literally all you guys got? down and pick up some loots. Oh, yeah. I'll just do one guy. You forgot about me, I'm still alive. But I'm totally gonna win. Okay, guy. Yeah. Uh, which game? Are you talking about, like, Sukaden? Or are you talking about that, like... John Romero id game that came out forever ago. That's Daikatana, no. Okay, um, which one are you talking about? Take cover. Sudeki. <sighs> You'd have to refresh my memory on it. <sighs> is, it a, is it a shooter? Is it a RPG? I can bypass the control panel and we can use it to get out of here. I know, like Sukaden. Just a moment. Let me try this. Hmm. It sounds cool. Like uh, RPG first-person shooters. Uh, the last one. Well, I don't know if it wasn't a first. I was gonna say the. Um, yeah, I'm glad you acquired me. Um, playing Valkyria Chronicles for a while, which is like a weird. Turn-based strategy RPG, third-person shooter type thing. It was fun. All right, am I, am I back out? Is that it? Steal this guy's beam. Just want to make sure, because I feel like I can just leave now. Yep. That's it. All right. Hmm. Let me check, let me look up on it real quick. Maybe something I have run into and just never... Look at it real here. Oh, that game! It kind of reminds me of... Wow, Maxim gave Sudeki five out of five stars. If that's not the stellar recommendation, I don't know what is. Um, I did not play that title, but I do remember it. So there's that. I wouldn't mind doing a run through. I'm gonna say the last. Like I'm, I don't do a whole lot of RPGs. The old school, um, like Super Nintendo titles, are really like Chrono Trigger, Secret of Evermore, um, stuff like that. Those are those are my big favorites. Um, used to play Golden Sun on the Nintendo, a Game Boy Advance actually, and then I really like Jade Empire. The original Xbox. Not 360, not one. This guy. Needs to go away. Can I hit this guy? Live! Dr. Cavassier's is right down there, but I feel like if I drive over there, I'll die. Yep. I mean, Xbox Classic, a lot of really good titles. I'm surprised that some of the uh, ones like Stubbs the Zombie never got a remake or a re-release. I think everyone forgot about that game. It was super fun. If I could get... Stubs a zombie. Uh, backwards compatible. I would play that 
in a heartbeat. The game is super fun. It had a really amazing soundtrack too. Um, it had songs from like Death Cab, um, Eight. They were all like old covers. See, at least Conquer got essentially a re-release and a rare replay. That was essentially whenever the backwards compatibility was first starting. Rare Replay was like, oh yeah, you don't need it because we just re released them all in one disc, but. I don't know how that whole backwards compatibility. How am I getting shot? So you talking about Conquer's Bad Fur Day or Conquer Live and Reloaded because there's two of them. Uh, Bad Fur Day obviously was on N64 and then they got re-released um, on uh, the rear replay backwards compatibility yeah, Live and Reloaded I think was on the original Xbox and I think that also got the the backwards compatibility release Bahama! I'm not spending money to put things on it. Yeah, Live and Reloaded was the more. Um, I kind of started off as like a D Day. It was really kind of poking fun at all the games like Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. See, now the Authority are here. They're looking for me. You know, they can't find me. Oh, I must not be the one. Sounds like they're looking for Authorities starting trouble. You're pretty handy with Here's those money. guns. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, I'm only gonna stream probably for another like 16, 17 minutes. I'm trying to keep my uh, my playthroughs to like an hour and a half chunks. So I'm at 73 minutes right now. I'm gonna continue doing this until I'm glad you made it back. I beat the game, and Thank then uh, Rage Two comes out. Me. Elizabeth tells me you're a man Like I said, if you got something you want me to someone who can help us play, as long as it's um, the but now after what happened in the prison, the authority will know about uh, you, and they'll know Xbox you're from Warren. the arcs, which means they'll be looking for you. Back was compatible. Trust me. Excuse me. You don't want to fall into their hands. So I don't have a capture card or a PC, it. so I can't do like switch resistance. stuff or. Dreamcast stuff. As much we as fight I'd like against to. the authority in any way possible. And in this world, information is power. Come to think of it, in this world, drive is still Stephen Blum does all the voices. You, like all Ark survivors, were assigned an ID drive, a micro drive that contains important information about the Ark program. Information They're like a mini disc, dude. Locations of strategic arcs, what everyone uses in the future. Caches, DNA records, who knows what. Sony mini discs. Anyway, each drive contains a unique piece of the puzzle. So as you can guess, those drives are critical to both the authority and the resistance. So there isn't much time. Now they know there's a survivor loose. They'll be looking for your arc. You're gonna need to return there and retrieve that drive. Do you understand how important this is? Excellent. Now each drive is DNA coded, so look people. for the bio scanner in the control system and use that to retrieve your drive. Good luck and hurry. I don't understand how they're supposed don't to get it. You need to retrieve that ID drive. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Leave me alone. Buy some more guns and stuff. Real quick now. See if I can get any more upgrades. It's all about them upgrades. Oh, it's pretty fast.
Yeah. So. Care to browse my selection? Yeah, the second uh, rage will have trade? more of the nanite, or sorry, nanotrite augments. I think these are all the cards I've missed. for the things I'm not using. Crap. Father is an upgrade. Maybe not. Yeah. Good day to you. You sell some I stuff. I have all the best no, supplies. <laughs> Where's all my junk that I've got? I don't want to sell that. Books are junk. Oh my god. No, I'm not Pleasure honest. doing business with you. Alright. Do I not have of my... the finest goods? Good day upgrade. to you. Right, cool. There's another armor upgrade. I might not unlock it till later. Good day to you. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they're doing certain titles are backwards compatible. I know a lot of it has to do with the licensing. But, um... Like the Star Wars... Um... Pretty much all of those got released backwards compatible. Force Unleashed and stuff like that, all the way back to um, the originals, or I should say like uh, the Knights of the Old Republic and stuff like that. Listen, our contact back at base is reporting authority movement in the area. We don't know what's going on, but be careful. Sure thing. Oh, I keep building these towers. Just keep running. We're getting reports of authority movement in the area. Maybe they just think we're a really bad driver. Talking about uh, Messiah or Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. That's a super fun title. That was like the first person RPG. Ooh, I got a little laser. Pretty sure. Good to see you again, my friend. I hear you went up yeah. against the Shrouded Clan with their own remote control bombs. It's 100% the same voice. Pretty brave thing you did there. I might have a way to make those bombs more powerful. Uh, I thought I knew you is the I've heard guy I just rescued. Working on an advanced name I also I don't remember. Yet. If you could get your hands on one of those, I might be able to upgrade the bomb cars you're using. So, all I need you to do is head back into the Shrouded Clan's hideout and find me one of their advanced mm -hmm. prototypes. Think you can do that? All right then. Awesome. Bring one of those back to me. I mean, not right person. now, but. Hey, pal. Care to browse my goods? What you looking for? 
Eh. Eh. Might as well. See you soon. See you real soon, guy. Come on. Oh, yeah. Of course, those guys are already. Smoothly turn there. I can't drive to save my life. Right. Sector clear. You just blow your head straight off. Things you know. Oh, go back in. Steal some beer. Doop -de doop -de doop -de doop -de doop. Give me all my rounds back. Blue blop, blue blop. Where is it? Where, where is my drive? Where? Is it in these thingy things? All these dead people? For real, where is it? I mean, they already have it? Because it says it's ejected? I assume I just missed something. Hey, robots. Perimeter clear. Two of your guys are dead. Like real dead. Nothing to report here. Like, Enemy contact. Oh, Jesus. These guys have like super good reflexes, but can't see them an inch away. Yeah. I'm gonna waste my fucking chance. <laughs> clink, clink, clunk, clunk. Oh, little guy. Lost my powers my way back out of here. Oh, crap. Come on, come on. Second one I should have. Much more of the, the driving. More stuff to do in between. A fully fleshed out open world. Ah, crap. What? Okay. 
Guys! Oh man. Oh jeez, Rick. Alright, I'm gonna drop the stuff off and that'll probably be it for for today. Gotta get ready to go see Endgame. See how many more people Thanos kills. This KD is like through the roof. Definitely one of them on my Call of Duty team. Seven dollars. Listen, friend. I heard that the authorities looking for you. Y'all still here? <sighs> Would think the guy wandering around, covered in guns and ammo, might be the one you're looking for, but no. Oh, I gotta go. That guy. Running the wrong way. May 6th. Um, I actually didn't buy my tickets. I had a buddy who was like, hey, we're gonna go see it on Thursday. I was like, yes. He was like, I have an extra ticket. Well, these are fun. I don't want to do it right away, though. Gosh dang it. Uh, I can do this. I mean, the movie starts at like 10. I'm just worried I'm going to have to pee before I even get halfway through this movie. Brian Altano from IGN had, or, yeah, IGN had posted something pretty funny about it. It's like people were running up, running up and down the aisles, just peeing themselves. Some guy pooped in a bucket of popcorn. Oh yeah, because this is totally going to go down. Where's the other guy at? Oh, damn, dude. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Who else is shooting? Oh my gosh. That was real far away. Missed with the wrong guy. That like completely be it. That might be it. What? Nobody else? Yeah. Did these guys even take any damage? Give me my money. Hey! Dirty! Wow. See? Told you. Baby, I got your money. Don't you want it? Say hey! Oh man. Well, I would say stay off social media for the next week and a half if you're not going to see it till the 6th. Um, because people are just total a holes. Did you hear the news? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to turn in, get some money, and uh, finish up the stream. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the, uh, the follow as well. You stream yourself. I need the road safer.
for every bandit car you destroy, I'll give you cash. Is it so? I'll definitely give you a follow back. I am a follow back girl. Ooh, piece of candy. Excellent work. You're a major asset to the resistance. I'll get this drive to Lassard as soon as we get back to our base. Hopefully he'll be able to uncover what's on it. But as of now, time is against us. And it's becoming more is dangerous it a, Is it a buy? But go on, tell him. We've still got some unfinished business. Before I was captured, like I, said, I was thank you for watching. the old Authority Appreciate Research it. Facility in Dead City. I was looking for some type of proof of what the Authority was doing. Yeah, I bet you were. The uh, I can't save it from here because yes. I'm talking. We've got reports or that the not. authority has reprogrammed nanotrites and are using them to control mutants, changing them into something far worse than they are now. Well, yeah, if you stream, yeah, I'll certainly uh, way to use them as look you up right now. We don't know how far they got before they were overrun and had to abandon the city. We need that data. There may be a way to reverse the process, but only if we understand the mutant experiments better. And if for nothing else, we can use the information to expose the real nature of the authority. So, my friend, before we leave, you've got to help us find that data. If anyone just started watching right now, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm literally about to stop playing. Um, but I will be continuing the series of me just playing through the original Rage to get excited and ready for Rage 2. Because I kind of forgot what the story is. Aside from kill everything and everyone, um, but I'm cool with that too. So thank you. Um, if you just signed on, give me a follow, and I'll see you next time. Thank you much. Where's my thing? Oh, I should probably save. That would be... That would be a good thing. Why can't I do it right here? Why? What is, what is what's happening? We suspect you can find a copy of the data on the old servers. Oh my gosh. So to reach them, you'll have to get to the top I mean, floor there's the definitely... <laughs> you, I, I'm pretty sure you've been the only the person to be watching will be there this current server. Somewhere. Service. Find that data, and you'll have done another great right. member in the authority. So you're around, and they'll be looking for you. Okay, okay. Can you give me that stuff. Yeah. I'm safe. Let me save. There we go. Alright, for real now. Now I'm stopping.